Hey, so I'm back again. Stay with me. I've got simple do's and don'ts for babies and pacifiers. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I am back. If you have not seen my videos before, I am Laura. I am a mom of two beautiful girls. I am also an early childhood educator. Um, and I am somebody just like you, um, a parent and a wife. And I wanna share the things that I've learned with you guys. So here we go. I got pacifiers for you today, um, but before I forget, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell, and you'll get your latest updates and know when my next videos come out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, right here at the bottom, Laura De Obando. So let's go, let's dive into today. So pacifiers, they're like one of the things that parents kind of cringe about. You love them, you hate them, but you love to hate them, but you love them at the same time. I was always kind of partial to pacifiers. I will tell you, I did not use them with my first daughter. Um, it kind of backfired a little bit because she ended up actually using her two fingers to use as a pacifier versus using one that you can remove. Can't remove the fingers. So that is a habit that we have had to, are learning or trying to learn how to break. If I find that out, I'll make a video for you just on that one. My second daughter, we decided to go ahead and use a pacifier. She takes it, um, she's not dependent on it, but she likes it and it does help soothe her. So what I have for you guys today are Philips Avent products. And I will tell you right now, I'm not paid for any of this. I love their products, their quality. So this is something that I want to do myself. Um, let's go, let's dive in. All right, pacifiers. Their pacifiers are actually widely known within hospitals. Uh, they will give you guys these after the baby is born. They come in different colors. There's also green, there's blue. I have pink and purple because I got two girls. So they are package of two. Up top, you guys will see there is a small little guide that says zero to three. So it's recommended for babies that are zero to three months. Keep in mind, you want to change the pacifier if you ever notice anything broken, something damaged, and you also want to change them about every three months. That way they're clean um, and they're not broken down. So let's open these up. These are also referred to as Avent Soothies, not just pacifiers. They call them the Soothies. These are pretty easy to open up for you guys. I'll put that over there. Got two pacifiers here. They're very soft. You can, it will be hard for you guys to see, um, but they do have the soothing name right here for you guys. And uh, what's really nice about these is they have two holes. If heaven forbid a child ever gets them lodged in their throat, they have a little piece here. I will show you what this piece, this little tab is for in just a couple minutes but they're bendable, they're flexible, they're medical grade silicone pacifiers that they um, have made. So what's really nice too is it also has a little tab where your finger can go in when you're helping the baby to learn how to suck on the pacifier. Keep in mind, a pacifier should change as your baby grows. So they also make another version which is three months to 18 months of these pacifiers. It's the same medical grade silicone, same design, everything like that. It's just, it's stronger. It's harder to bend and it's a little bit tougher, more durable. Cause at this point, when you're changing up these pacifiers, your baby's got teeth. So that's when you really have to start watching the pacifiers for damage and breakage. Uh, what I really enjoy though, with these pacifiers is they're orthopedic. So for all you moms that are worried or dads that are worried about it destroying your child's palate as they're growing, these are orthopedics. So they do not disrupt the palate as it, the baby's mouth is developing, which I absolutely love, especially being someone who grew up, my mom's a dental hygienist, so grew up with very important focus on taking care of teeth. So these are a win for sure. I'm gonna put these off to the side for a second. One thing I've always seen kids with here I have for you guys um, is a little lovey. I love this and I won't lie, I went ahead and already gave this to my daughter here. Um, so I kind of took it back just for the video for a hot minute here. So this did come sealed. It was completely sealed at the top. 
here, I cut the tape. And this is a little giraffe. You can see the giraffe here on the back. Also, the little guide that I talked about that was on the pacifier, um, it is on the front of this box too. So keep in mind that you can change the pacifier out with these, which is really nice. So this is their green pacifier that they have. And if you can see here, the giraffe has a little rubber tip that, there you go. So that is what this little part is for. I don't really know the technical name for it, but it just slides right in there. So it kind of hangs down. So the baby also can suck on it and has something to grab onto. That's nice and soft. Now they have other animals besides a giraffe. There's an elephant, there's a seal. Um, I think there was a little bear or something, but I like the giraffe, it's cute. Also, which is nice, is there's Velcro on this one. So if you use a different kind of pacifier, you can also connect it to these. I don't care for the two piece pacifier just for the sheer fact of them breaking. One big thing with these, I will take this apart. You can take the pacifier apart, which is nice, and you can interchange these. Please, please, please clean your loveys. These need to be washed just like everything else. Do not leave these dirty, please. Babies are drooling, babies are chewing, and different things like that. So clean the lovey. Little giraffe wants to be clean, likes to be clean, and have backup. Get a couple of these because that way you have something when you're washing the other one. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna put that right there for now. Also, the same goes for your pacifier, guys. I've seen a lot of people with the pacifiers and either they don't change them out, they don't wash them or sterilize them. These are made to be washed. Pacifiers can harbor a lot of germs. Wash them in warm, soapy water and sterilize them. Put them in boiling water for a few minutes. I use a bottle sterilizer. I put them in my bottle sterilizer, let them get cleaned, sterilized, put it off to the side so it can cool off and dry. So keep that in mind. You always wanna keep these clean. I change them out daily or more than once if necessary. Now here's one thing I find a lot of parents will do with pacifiers. This is my child's only pacifier. No, that is a don't, big don't. If your child is using a pacifier to soothe themselves, do not put yourself in a position where you're gonna be stuck at night and that, day, and that pacifier they need is sitting at daycare that's building shut down and locked. Have multiples on hand, and if you're with an older child and you're trying to cut back, then keep an extra one stored away somewhere if you need it. Do not put yourself in a stressful situation. So, have plenty plenty of pacifiers, have lots of them on hand. So that way you're never in that position. One of the other things I found that I really like, and by the way, before I forget, all the descriptions for the stuff I have here, guys, is down in the box. It's in the links. Um, links are all in the description. So you can just click on them and they're right there for you, easy peasy. Next part, this is a pacifier clip. A lot of people use these, and I do like this product, I do. Um, it's silicone right here. It's got, I like the plastic clip because it's not so harsh if it gets caught. Um, and then you just loop it through the hole here with the pacifier and you make a little, little, ah, it's stuck. Okay. And then you just make a little loop and then you have it. So with the pacifier clip, keep in mind, these are silicone beads. They're made for the baby to chew on, which is great. But at the same time, clean, clean them and sterilize them just like the pacifier. Do not let these just sit. I have two, come in, two came in my pack, so I switch them out when I use them. I will tell you with this product, it is nice for when you go out places and you are maybe, you know, holding the baby. You don't have to worry about the pacifier falling. You can clip the pacifier. It's got a little alligator mouth there. You know, you can kind of clip it and it kind of hang down, but they can be dangerous if you use them the wrong way. Do not leave these with your child unsupervised. Do not leave them in the crib. Do not leave them when they go down for a nap. What happens is as a baby gets older or just by chance, 
they can catch them and they get up around their necks and they can cause choking. The company does not deny it. It will tell you right on the box. Do not leave your child unattended when using them, which in honesty, rule of thumb, don't ever leave your baby unattended using a baby product. You never can be too careful when it comes to babies. But they are nice for traveling or being out and about though, so you don't have a pacifier rolling on the floor or somewhere dropping in a parking lot or something like that. But that is about it. My biggest thing, love the pacifiers. They're medical grade silicone, BPA free by the way. Uh, don't forget to clean them and have multiple on hand. If this is what your baby needs to soothe and to calm down and rest, then help your baby do that. As your baby gets older, you can start limiting your time with the pacifier. You can start putting the pacifier up during the daytime as they become older and start using it for nap time and nighttime only. Uh, keep in mind, pacifiers are not forever, guys. So as sweet as it is and cute, they are not forever. So keep that in mind as the child gets older, you wanna slowly limit that time and help them learn other coping strategies to help soothe themselves. But little giraffe here, he's pretty cute. I do like him. I do have to actually order another one for my daughter. But don't forget guys, the links are down below. And by the way, thank you guys so much for so much love and feedback on my other videos. Um, so if you haven't checked those out, go check them out. Um, I've got one on bottles, one on diversity out so far, and I'm working on some stuff for the 4th of July and I'm really excited about so don't forget, follow me on social media, Laura De Obando. I'm right there. Uh, message me, give me a like, and don't forget, click the bell, subscribe, and the links for all these products are down below. They make great shower gifts and they're easy to have on hand. Uh, that is about it for me. I'm gonna take Mr. Giraffe. He's so soft, I love him. Um, and give him back to my daughter because she's probably wanting him back because she really likes to cuddle with him. And you guys have a great day and I'll be back real soon. I'll see ya.